Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore some of the most mysterious and unbelievable ancient places on earth. From hidden cities swallowed by the sands of time to enigmatic tombs shrouded in legend, these archaeological marvels will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the past. Buckle up because we're about to dive headfirst into the mysteries of the ancients. Let's get started. Our first stop takes us to the rolling hills of Wiltshire, England, home to the iconic Stonehenge. But just a stone's throw away, about 20 miles to be exact, lies a site even more massive and arguably more mysterious, Avebury. Imagine this, a sprawling complex of towering stones, some reaching 20 feet high, arranged in a series of interconnected circles. This, my friends, is Avebury. It's older than Stonehenge, dating back to the Neolithic period, around 2600 BC, and dwarfs its more famous neighbor in size. Archaeologists believe that Avebury was a place of great ritual significance, possibly used for ceremonies, gatherings, and even astronomical observations. But the exact purpose of these stones remains a mystery, lost to the mists of time. Avebury is a powerful reminder that the past is full of mysteries that we're only just beginning to unravel. Now let's journey from the rolling hills of England to the depths of our planet. Legend tells of a secret realm hidden deep within the earth, a place known as Agartha. This isn't your typical underground city. Agartha is said to be a vast and verdant paradise, illuminated by an inner sun and inhabited by advanced beings who possess wisdom far beyond our own. The idea of a hollow earth might seem far-fetched, but it has captivated the imaginations of explorers, mystics, and even scientists for centuries. The 17th century astronomer Edmund Halley, famous for calculating the orbit of Halley's comet, was a proponent of the hollow earth theory. Over the centuries, tales of Agartha have been passed down through various cultures, often depicting it as a utopia where peace and harmony reign supreme. While the existence of Agartha remains purely speculative, it continues to fuel our fascination with the unknown and the possibility that there are still secrets hidden within our own planet. From the Earth's core, we travel to Death Valley National Park in California. This barren landscape holds a secret, the legend of a lost city beneath the valley floor. In 1931, prospectors Bruce Russell and Daniel Bovey claimed to find tunnels leading to an underground city. They described chambers filled with gold, weapons, and mummified giants. The entrance was lost after earthquakes. Whether real or imagined, the legend reminds us that secrets may lie hidden beneath the surface. Prepare yourselves, because our next destination takes us to the rugged volcanic landscapes of the Canary Islands, off the coast of North Africa. Here, carved into the sheer cliffs, lies a mystery that has puzzled archaeologists and historians for centuries, the caves of the Cenobio de Valeron. Imagine this, a honeycomb of over 350 caves, meticulously carved into the volcanic rock, rising hundreds of feet above the valley floor. These caves are no natural formation. They were painstakingly created by the ancient inhabitants of the islands, the Guanches, over 1,500 years ago. Initially, they mistook the caves for a type of fortress or a secluded monastery, hence the name Cenobio, which means monastery in Spanish. However, further investigation revealed a more practical purpose. These caves were actually a sophisticated system of communal granaries used to store grain and other foodstuffs. Archaeologists have discovered numerous symbols and markings etched into the cave walls, suggesting that these caves may have also held religious or ceremonial significance. Our quest for ancient mysteries takes us to Egypt. The final resting place of Cleopatra VII remains unsolved. Cleopatra is remembered for her intelligence and relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Recent discoveries at Taposiris Magna suggest it may hold the key to her tomb. From the sands of Egypt, we journey to the rugged mountains of China, where another ancient mystery awaits, the enigmatic Guyaju Caves. Imagine this, a sheer cliff face, 
honeycombed with over 117 caves of varying sizes, some perched precariously high above the ground. These are the Guiyaju Caves, located near Beijing, China, a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people who carved them from the solid rock over 1,000 years ago. The caves are believed to have been built by the Khitan people, a nomadic group who ruled northern China from the 10th to 13th centuries. Some experts believe that the caves served as a fortress, providing a strategic advantage against invading armies. Others suggest that they were used as dwellings, offering protection from the harsh elements and wild animals. The caves are interconnected by a labyrinthine network of passageways, stairs, and even bridges. Some of the caves feature windows, hearths, and even rudimentary furniture, suggesting that they were once inhabited for extended periods. Despite their historical significance, the Guiyaju Caves remain relatively unknown outside of China. Our pursuit of the unexplained now takes us to the heartland of America, to the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas, where legend tells of a cave that breathes, and it's not just air that it exhales. Local folklore whispers of the Blowing Cave, a place where the veil between our world and the realm of the unknown is said to be thin. Legends abound of strange lights emanating from the cave's mouth, unexplained temperature fluctuations, and most chillingly, encounters with creatures that defy description. One man, Bruce Allen Walton, claims to have had multiple encounters with these beings in the 1990s. While Walton's claims are met with skepticism by some, the legend of the Blowing Cave persists, drawing curious visitors and paranormal investigators alike. Whether this breath is merely a geological anomaly or something more, the Blowing Cave continues to capture the imagination and fuel our fascination with the unknown. From the mysteries of the American heartland, we journey across continents to the sun-drenched plains of Algeria, North Africa, where the sands have preserved an ancient Roman city in remarkable detail. This is Timgad, a UNESCO World Heritage Site often referred to as Africa's Pompeii. Founded by the Roman Emperor Trajan in 100 AD, Timgad was a thriving metropolis, a testament to the reach and power of the Roman Empire. The city boasted paved streets, grand library, a theater, bathhouses, and all the amenities one would expect in a prosperous Roman city. By the 7th century AD, the city had been sacked and abandoned, eventually vanishing beneath the sands of the Sahara Desert. It wasn't until the early 20th century that French archaeologists began excavating the site, revealing the remarkably well-preserved ruins of this once great city. Timgad stands as a poignant reminder of the rise and fall of civilizations and the power of time to both destroy and preserve. Our journey now takes us to the cloud-piercing heights of the Peruvian Andes, to a fortress that seems to touch the sky, Quilap, the walled city in the clouds. Imagine this, a massive stone citadel perched precariously on a limestone ridge, its walls rising over 60 feet high and stretching for nearly 2,000 feet in length. This is Kualat, an architectural marvel built by the Chachapoya people, a mysterious culture that thrived in this region of Peru centuries before the rise of the Inca Empire. Kualat was a fortress city, a refuge from rival tribes and a testament to the Chachapoya's mastery of engineering and construction. Within the walls, Archaeologists have uncovered the remains of over 500 circular stone structures, believed to have been homes, temples, and ceremonial buildings. The Chachapoya were a fierce and independent people, and Quelap stood as a symbol of their power and resilience. Despite its grandeur, Quelap was eventually conquered by the Inca Empire in the 15th century. Our final destination takes us to the heart of India, to the Ellora Caves. Imagine a sheer rock face transformed into a sprawling complex of temples, monasteries and shrines. Ellora, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, showcases Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. Carved from basalt cliffs over centuries, Ellora is a testament to ancient artisan skill. The Hindu Kailasa Temple, carved from a single rock, is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Elora Caves are a testament to human creativity and resilience. 
So there you have it, explorers, 10 mysterious ancient places that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about our planet's past. Which of these incredible sites intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. And remember, there's still so much out there to discover. Until next time, keep exploring.